All right, guys, today we are going to discuss a Drip Edge 1969 Fender Super Reverb and a problem that I found with this. I was getting some, some rattle in the speaker. I was trying to figure out why. I think I found out why. This one stud that goes through this hurricane nut in the baffle had backed out and... Um, so you have the stud, you have this, this little nut here, and um, I noticed that as I started to tighten this nut up, the screw started backing out, and I could feel it pressing up against the baffle here. I could feel it backing out into the baffle, and it was like a big lump there. So I removed the baffle from the amp, and... Uh, I decided the only way I could fix this is I'm going to have to get a screwdriver on the back side of this where the grill cloth is. Uh, so I've got to remove part of the grill cloth. So the drip edge, it's a very thin um, strip of aluminum and Fender used these little finish nails to nail it into the wood. So what I'm doing is I'm backing it out. screwdriver going between the uh, drip edge aluminum and the wood and just kind of pry the nail back take it on those pliers pull those out so Okay, so I get a Phillips head screwdriver. I'll be right back. So now cloth is stapled many times well so ultimately what I'm gonna have to do is remove the staples pull the grill cloth back get a screwdriver in here and tighten it into the hurricane nut and uh, put it all back so obviously I'm not gonna take the time to film all that but in case you run into this you at least know what you have to do in order to remove the drip edge aluminum. Um, it's kind of a pain, but it's the way Fender built them back in the day. Yay, Fender. Not a big fan. So, anyway, that concludes this video. And um, so hopefully you never run into this problem and have to do this. So.